Welcome to Marielle Beats and Beyond. Today I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful bracelet that I made for my Spanish channel. It turned out very cute. I really love it. The list of materials is going to be in the description box. I am using this magnetic class for this tutorial. There's a lot of things going on in my life right now. I'm starting a new custom t-shirt business with heat transfer vinyl and with embroidery. Also, my husband and I just released a new book for children. The links are going to be in the description box and I hope you guys support me. The only thing you have to do is share the links in the description box with all your friends. For now, let's start with the tutorial. We are going to pick up two 11 O's. We are going to bring them down. Also, we want to leave six inches tail to add our clasp. We are going to sew through the first 11 all. We are going to pick up one 11 all in a different color. We using two color beads just for tutorial purposes. Our thread is exiting from the top bead. We are going to sew through the bead underneath. We are going to pick up another 11 all. Our thread is exiting from this bead, we are going to sew through the bead across. In order to continue, we are going to have to step up through the first 11 0 that we add on our new row. We are going to pick up an 11 0. Our thread is exiting from one of the blue beads. We are going to sew through the bead across. We are going to pick up another 11 0. And we are going to sew through the bead across the one our thread is exiting from. We are going to step up We are going to pick up an 11 O Our thread is exiting from this bead We are going to sew through the bead across We are going to pick up a new bead and we are going to sew through the bead across of the bead our thread is exiting from. We are going to step up We are going to pick up an 11 O. We are going to sew through the bead across the bead our thread is exiting from. We are going to pick up an 11 O. And we are going to continue repeating these steps until we have 10 rows of this stitch which means you gotta have five rows of blue beads and five rows of white beads. And I'll be right back to show you the next step.
I have my 10 rows. I'm going to step up. We are going to pick up an 8 o. My thread is exiting from this bead. I'm going to sew through the bead across. I'm going to pick up a white bead because we are exiting from a blue bead. And I'm going to sew through the bead across. I'm going to step up through the 8O. We are going to pick up an 8O and we are going to sew through the 11O. We're working only with the two new beads that we add. We are exiting out of a white bead. We are going to pick up a blue bead. 11 O, and we are going to sew through the previous O that we add. We finish another row. We are going to step up through the new 8 that we add. We are going to pick up an 8 O, and we are going to sew through the blue bead, the 11 O that we add. We are coming out of a blue bead, so we are going to pick up a white bead. And we are going to sew through the second or the previous eight that we add. You gotta be careful that you don't get confused. We are going to sew up through the eight O. We are going to pick up an AO and we are going to sew through the white. We are exiting from a white bead, so we are going to pick up a blue 11 O and we are going to sew through the previous eight. We are done with another row. We are going to sew up through the eight. We are going to pick up an eight O and we are going to sew through the blue 11 that we added. It's really simple. It's peyote with two beads. We are going to pick up a white 11 O because we are exiting from a blue. And we are going to sew through the 8 O across. We have a new row. We are going to step up. If you look at your world right now, you have 10 rows of 11 O's, and then we have 5 8 O's. Right now, we had to transition from the 8 o with the 11 to only 11 for 10 rows. We are step up. We are going to pick up one blue. And we are coming out of the 8 o. We are going to sew through the 11 across. We are coming out of a white and we just add a blue and we gotta add two of each. So we are going to pick up a blue and sew through the 8 O. Right now, our new row is two blues. We are going to step up. We are going to pick up a white bead. And we are going to, our thread is exiting from this blue bead, we are going to 
so through the blue bead across. We are going to pick up a white bead and we are going to sew through the blue across. As you can see, we already made the transition and we are only adding 11 old beads. We are going to step up through the first white. We are going to pick up an 11 old and we are going to sew through the white. Pick up a blue bead, our thread is exiting from this white, we are going to sew across through the white bead. And we are going to continue repeating these steps until we get the length that we need for a bracelet. To know how many rows you have, you're going to look at the last AO and then you're going to flip it around. So your first two beads of the same color is your first row. So in this case, this is our first row. So we got one, two, we got three rows so far. So we gotta make seven more rows and then we have to make five rows with eight O's. And we are going to continue until we get the length that we desire. And I'll be right back to show you how to finish your bracelet. Okay, so I've, I got the length that I need. So we are going to go ahead and add the clasp. So I'm going to show you first with the tail of our thread. And then we are going to do it on the other side. Our thread is exiting from these 11 0. We are going to pick up one 11 0, our clasp, and I'm utilizing these um, stardust that I bought. There's sterling silver, but they've been in the bag, and um, I don't know why they're tarnishing. And I tried to clean them, and it's not coming off. So, so through the clasp and grab another 11 0. So an 11 0, sew through the clasp and one more 11 0. Our thread, it's coming out on this side out of the 11 0. So we are going to sew in the opposite direction from the other 11 0. Okay. You shall have one bead on each side. We are going to pick up one eleven. Our thread is sexing from this bead. We are going to sew through the clasp. We are going to pick up an eleven. This blue bead is coming out of this side of the white bead, so we are going to sew from the other side. And now we are going to reinforce. So we are going to sew through the bead. Through the clasp. down through the bead and it doesn't matter it doesn't matter which side we are going to sew through the white bead up through the blue bead through the clasp and we are going to repeat three or four times until you feel that you clasp is safe
so I'm just gonna sew one more time and now we are going to sew down through the one of the beads it doesn't matter which bead okay we are going to pick up one eight oh our thread is exiting from this bead right here and it's from the bottom so we are going to sew from top to bottom like this we are going to sew again through the 8 o and we are going to sew down through the bead right next to it and up to the 8 o so this is what you should have okay so we are going to reinforce this so so through the blue bead up through the a o down through the blue bead and we are going to so down through the white bead so i'm gonna sew through the blue bead up through the white bead and we made it through the other side so we are going to sew up through the blue bead we are going to pick up an AO we are going after it's exiting from the top we are going to sew from the bottom to the top back through the AO so up through the blue right next to the other blue and down through the AO we are going to reinforce And we're not gonna tie a knot yet and this is what you should have okay we are going to repeat the same steps on the other side and I'll be right back to show you how to continue I have both of my ends the same If you look under, it looks like a little triangle. That's what you gotta have. Okay. So you want your thread exiting out from the top of one of your white beads. So you can come down through the 8 O. The next step is very simple. We're just gonna pick up a bunch of beads. You can do white or blue or same color, that's up to you. And so just go ahead and pick up a lot of beads until you get to the other side of your bracelet, okay? So I'm going to do mine. I think for my bracelet I got enough so right here it doesn't matter if it gets twisted or not because I mean it depends on what you want for me I'm just going to um, sew through a bit and then we'll see what comes on because it really it doesn't have like a specific way to do it remember this is custom jewelry so do you do what you want to do technically so we are going to 
so up through the AO and then we can see if it looks good, if we should remove some beads, if this is good enough. And for me, this is exactly what I needed. So I'm just going to leave it like that. So now right here is two options. You can go ahead and reinforce or you can just go to the other side and go from there. So what I'm going to do, I'm, I'm just going to move through the other side. So I'm going to come down through the blue bead. I'm going to sew up through the blue bead right next to it or through your 11 holes. And I'm going to sew through the clasp. I'm going to sew down through one of the blue 11 holes. I'm going to sew up through the 11 hole right next to it. I'm going to come down through the through the 8 O and I'm in position to add my other row of white beads. Let's go ahead and do that. I think I got the beads that I need so let's try so I'm going to sew up through my 8-0 okay and I'm going to pull and then see if I like it that way and I think it's pretty good they're kind of even so I'm just gonna leave it like that what we are going to do is we are going to reinforce so we can come down through one bead Go up through the next 11 0 And we are just gonna sew back and forth. Don't skip any beads, so you wanna be really careful. So up through the eight O. So down through the blue bead. Right here we are going to sew through this um white bead. I don't know if you can see it. Let me see. Hopefully you can see that better. We are going to rotate. So to this blue. So through the white. So up through one of the blue beads that is holding the clasp. And we are going to come down through the 8 O And through all the beads. And all we're doing is reinforcing. We are done with our bracelet. I got to the other side and technically our bracelet is complete. All you had to do is continue to reinforce until you finish all your thread, make some knots, cut your thread and you'll be done with your bracelet. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it was easy to follow along. If you like my videos, please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Leave a lot of comments and please share this video with your friends.
Thank you. Until next time.